YouTube! Alright, so I got a mission today. Well, it's not really a mission. I have a list of shit I have to do. Uh, starting with bringing back this absolute piece of shit Elite Controller. I don't know what it is with me and having bad luck with Elite Controllers, but I'm really fed up with it. So I'm going to go to GameStop and I'm going to bring it in there to them and tell them, Hey, listen, guess what? I'm sick and tired of having junky ass controllers. Fix this. Uh, cool. That's the first step. Second step, I need to go get oil filter and a f air filter. Well, it's not going to be really in that uh, order, but I have to get stuff to do the oil change on my truck because she's due. Uh, and then I also have to, what do I got to do? I need some light bulbs for the house. This is going to be just a random freaking boring ass vlog. But it seems as though you guys want to see what I'm doing in my everyday life. So, alrighty then. So does uh, anybody else feel really guilty leaving their animals at home? Because every single time I leave my house, it's the only thing I'm, that's going through my head is how much I feel bad. Like, I, this is where I'm torn between bringing him, leaving him in the truck while I'm fucking doing things in stores. You know, it's like cold outside and I'm not leaving my truck running. This piece of shit. There's the nice piece of shit. The one that doesn't like winter very good. Oh, that, listen to that third gen door squeak. Not bad, huh? So, first things first, gotta get ourselves a coffee. Coffee is a, <laughs> well actually, you know what's about to happen here? The camera's gonna go, because, <laughs> uh, hold on a second. Not really holding it that straight. Uh, gotta get rid of some garbage here, really quickly. Listen to that hemi purr. Ooh, that one's garbage day, man. That thing's fucking packed. Okay, let's go get a coffee and go to GameStop. All right, Big Ten Four. You know you gotta make your way to old fucking Tim Hortons. Here we are, Tim Hortons. And for you Americans. Tim Hortons is better than Dunkin' Donuts. Suck on it. Hey everybody, that's, look at this. We're live streaming right now. If it'll fucking focus. Come on, focus, there we go. We're live streaming and vlogging. Isn't that neat? <laughs> Say hi everybody. How you doing? Slowest zoom on the face of the planet. You're gonna be in my new vlog, everybody. Okay, we're at the, the place that has the Xbox stuff that I need for because nerd reasons and science. Um, I'm gonna go grab that. Okay, so uh, still going around doing errands here. And uh, as you can see behind me, that says Mac Tools. Well, I owe money, so now I have to go pay some on my tool bill, because that's the way it works. You wanna meet Ryan? Ryan! What's up, big dog? Say hi to the vlog, buddy. Say hi to the vlog. This is Ryan. Hey. He sells uh, really overpriced tools and he gouges the shit out of you. But you know what? We're, we're still friends. I like the guy. Bend over and lube it up. Yeah, bend over and lube it up. That's exactly it. This is I, I'd rather buy off a Mack truck than a snap-on truck anyway, though. Strap. They call it strap-on for a reason, right, Ryan? That's right. Right. Except these. Don't buy these wrenches. They're like 950 doll hairs. They're actually on sale right now. Uh-oh, what? what? On sale, how much, Ryan? Can I give me the number? Half price, 450 instead of 900. <laughs> I think I'll pass on that today, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, yeah, no, this is his truck. I'm gonna pay a bill and uh, keep recording after. Yeah, this is a, this is the vlog life, Ryan. This is what this is what the YouTubers do. They walk around, they just talk about their life. <laughs> hey, it's just like, look what I'm doing. Check it out. Anyway, I'm gonna pay my bill. Fuck off. I wasn't supposed to be buying anything, but Ryan is just a Fucking great salesman, let me tell you. I come on this truck and it's like, he's got a little tickle trunk over here. And I'm gonna show you his, his tickle trunk. There's his tickle trunk. This is all shit that's like, you know, whatever. And he gives you really good deals on that stuff. Well, I mean, I always just try to fucking lowball the shit out of him. He, we, we end up compromising. So I ended up getting these nice little Mac, tiny needle nose cutters for 10 bucks. Not bad, I'm pretty happy with that purchase. Then. We got ourselves a nice little screwdriver set here. You got a Phillips and a flathead for 20 bucks. Not bad. The shocks on my toolbox, you had to get me new ones because they weren't working. And then I bought some wedges to put attachments on my toolbox. So anyway, yeah, that's the way she goes, Ryan. Thank you so much, Ryan, for uh, 
you know, making me spend money again. I still owe you a fucking shitload of it, so we'll, we'll, we'll give you that one time, eh? Yep. You know where I live, so I'm, you're not worried about it. But, uh, anyway, on to the next, uh, whatever the fuck I'm doing today. <laughs> this is Eric Jalbert reporting live from my bathroom, because I had to take a poop. Okay, well, <clears throat> so I had, uh, I got a little sidetracked there because I, I did forget I had to meet back with my Mac guy, Ryan, that you guys just saw. Um, so I didn't get to go run and grab my uh, oil and stuff for my truck. I'm just going to do that stuff tomorrow, I think, and then I'm going to go do some stuff in the garage after. But I did uh, replace my controller, so as you can see here, I have the Elite 2 Xbox controller and it's pretty cool there's a couple things about it I'm not too sure about but uh, so far so good it seems pretty nifty and grab the camera here and this is what it looks like I gotta figure out the settings on this thing because she does not want to focus okay there you go so you know she's a uh, Pretty snazzy. It's all internal charging. Um, this is actually the charger here. Oops. You can pull it right out of the thing, or it'll charge itself in the case. So, yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's that's different. Um, hmm. Cool thing about it, about this new Elite controller, is you got more options for the hair trigger so that would be considered normal and then you put it all the way max and that's it so that's kind of cool I'm excited to use it the other thing that I, I'm wondering is if I'm gonna have to re redo all my bindings I think I'm probably gonna have to which kind of sucks but it's nice to have a new controller again. Holy Christ, man. Was my other one just killing me? Also, if you haven't got yourself some G Fuel, go get yourself some G Fuel. Use discount code DAMAGE for 10% off. Okay, welcome to my messy garage. Here's the general. And here's my toolboxes. Alright, well, so what I'm doing, I'm going to adjust this sucker here. Uh, I got a clean in here. I'll show you in a second. I'm always cleaning this place. And I haven't cleaned my mess from when I was drilling my damn finger open. If you guys seen that video online, anywhere, this is where I did it. Ooh, that, ooh. Here is not nice. So, <clears throat> I'm just going to put some shit away. You guys can watch me do it. Sound good? Alright, maybe I'll just speed it up put some funny music or something. Put the torch in here. i got to leave this out. I don't know. Mm. Where the fuck do I keep things? I'm starting to forget. Where did this come from? I don't remember. Uh, <clears throat> what if I... Okay, so yeah, here we go. So I bought these little things I showed you earlier. Oops, just use that to open these up. You know, sometimes you just impulse buy shit you don't need, you know? Thank you for coming out there, Light. Oh, goodness. They're just nice little Mac screwdrivers. They ain't nothing fancy. There's a nice little kit for them. And I'll probably put them right in here, next to my other screwdrivers. My snap-on Mac ones. This will fit. Oh, it almost fits. Oh, that's okay. We're good. Let me just adjust them so they don't look so messy in here. Alright. So, that's what I just did. As you can see, I got my overpriced snap-on nut drivers, I got my overpriced Mac screwdrivers, 
my overpriced Snap-on uh, Torx, and then this is the little kit I just bought. It fits all right right there. So all my screwdrivers in this guy. Check this out. Oh, <gasps> they open? What? I'm just, I was in here dreaming. Here's my four speed boot, and here's my stupid automatic that's got to come out. But, uh, I gotta put door card on there. Oh, yeah, all kinds of good stuff. Yee paw, yee hoo. Is this locked? Yeah. I don't even know where the keys are for this thing, to be honest. All right. Anyhow, uh, <clears throat> it's cold in here. So what I was doing earlier is I uh, came in here and I put the handle on my other tool cart here. So that's why I got those little wedges from the Mack truck. And then I swapped out these shocks. But I am really unimpressed because they do the exact same thing. Very, very, very little. And then it just slams shut. Like those things are supposed to go and just keep that wide open. And it's not. This one's a mess because I actually bought this for home and I never really set a lot of it up. I just bought some new wrench trays and new wrenches for this one. And it's just got miscellaneous crap in here. But if you guys want me to do a toolbox tour down the road, uh, I got no problem doing that. Let me know in the comments below. Um, I do read the comments, just so you know. Um, this is my fully loaded tool cart that's got, well, my socket game is really weak because they're super expensive in Canada. I don't know about the United States, but it's not cheap. And I lost a lot of sockets and these, you know, as you can see, it's pretty messy. But, uh, you know, ratchet wrenches. These ones got used and abused a lot more. I'll leave that uh, for a toolbox tour if you guys really want me to get into it. And a garage tour, I guess. There's not a whole lot going on in here. Uh, here's my trike. I'm not sure what year it is. I think it's like an 83 or an 85. It's a Trimoto 175 Yamaha. I plan on uh, rebuilding the damn thing. The rear carrier bearings are all friggin'. Yeah. I gotta redo all the bearings in that thing. So I got that as a, a gift, I guess you could say, from a friend of mine. And uh, I haven't really played with it since. I'm, she's tapped out. So it's time to redo that. But uh, yeah, this vlog is definitely not as exciting as uh, I was anticipating it to be. But at least you guys can check out the general, right? The car that I cause all the mayhem with. See an H320? Look at that. That thing's been there since I've owned the car. And it looks like an old pop tab for uh, like an old beer can or something, or a pop can for God knows how long ago. There's the hit shitter on the shelf there. How many people are going to get offended by this flag? It's a movie car, folks. Get over it. All right. I'm not sitting here dropping n bombs and being racist. It's a movie car, and that's that's it. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. But uh, I'm gonna come in here at some point, probably this week or this weekend, and clean up. Put my signs up that I got. I got Cuda, and I got Challenger metal signs. Sports car with the big with a big difference, or with what? Sports car with the big difference. <laughs> That's a dumb saying. Catch one before it gets away. And then up there, and I'll try to keep the flag out of it because I don't want this video to get demonetized because people hate me. There we go. Uh, there is the Charger 33 Magnum. If it's good enough for the Duke boys, or it's, oh, sorry, it's good enough for the Duke boys, but can you handle it? I can't read. If you guys didn't know that, yeah. All the tires for the general, normal size tires, drag slicks. Oh yeah, 10, 10 spoke turbine wheels. These are 15 by 10s right here. Those ones back there are 15 by eights. They're all, well, all those at the bottom and those are 15 by eights. Or, yeah, and those are 15 by eights, I think. So, lots of 15 by eights. <laughs> I only have one set of 15 by 10s, which are those drag slicks right there. They're uh, kind of rare, hard to find. Uh, what do you guys think of my cabinet? My buddy's made this for me, pretty cool, huh? Got my uh, Instagram, Twitter, everything handle except for YouTube, YouTube's just my name. Cummins, Mopar, Charger RT. I know my car is not an RT car, but I do plan on making it into an RT clone. Remove this badge here, and I'm gonna put an RT 
and that just pisses off the purist, which I think personally is funny. Um, as you can see, this car is disgusting. It's filthy. The Bondo cracks. Look at the dirt. Look at the rubber. This is all rubber right here. Watch this. Rubber. Just tons and tons of rubber stuck in there. And there's Moose, my mascot. What's up, buddy? Say hello to YouTube. <laughs> it is not a perfect car by any means. But it's mine. So I don't really care what other people have to say about my vehicle. That's why I think pissing off purists is so funny because they just squirm and they hate it. But anyway, uh, I'm going to end this vlog right here, I guess. I'll let you guys know also that um, tomorrow I'm starting my Black Friday sale on my website, villageidiot.co. Or sorry, villageidiot or via.clothing. I'll have the link down below. Um, if you go on my website starting tomorrow, if, uh, any any purchase over fifty dollars will get ten percent off. Any purchase over hundred dollars will get fifteen percent off. And any purchases over two hundred dollars will get twenty percent off. That is the deal that I got going on. Link is in the bottom description stuff. And uh, if you want to see more stuff like this, uh, more car stuff, let me know what you guys want to see because I don't really know the direction I'm going with these vlogs. So. Uh, you guys are watching it, so let me know. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you on the next one. See you later.